John uh, Spellman asked me to uh, come today and share my knowledge with uh, potential new beekeepers. Uh, John uh, certainly understands the need that uh, we're losing bees at a rate, uh, pollinators at a rate of 30% a year, honeybees specifically, and we're thinking that by having backyard beekeepers or people at a small scale, this is how we can save our bee population and hopefully keep us from having problems. Uh, ever since the uh, we've had you know become a global uh, community, and the bees have been subjected to not only issues from their own environment, but now issues from other global areas, issues that they're not able to deal with, such as the varroa mite, which is a vector for some of the most prolific pathogens and viruses that are attacking the bees today. So what we're seeing is 30% losses year over year without much improvement. CCD which we've tried to figure out, you know, what is the core basis of the CCD issue, and it looks like the varroa mite is a key vector of these diseases that could be the real basis of CCD. My hope for the future is uh, for the future of beekeeping and pollinators in general, uh, and the reason that I do this is to share the knowledge uh, of the trials and tribulations and also the, you know, the enjoyment and uh, fun of beekeeping. And it's a passionate hobby. Today, beekeeping is done mostly because it's a pollination uh, event. It's a commercial pollinating process. But the backyard beekeeper, the folks who have one to ten hives, I think are going to be the salvation of our bees because they're more passionate about it in such a way that they're willing to do things above and beyond and can do things above and beyond what it takes to have them to continue to survive.